<gasps> what the? Oh my gosh, get off the launch pad! What is happening? I'm stuck on the launch pad! Okay. Oh my... <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, buddy! No! Ah! Oh my... All right, welcome to my Fortnite Fuse Starter Quest Pack gameplay and review. So as you can see, this is a brand new special offer bundle for $9.99. That's real life money, you cannot use V-Bucks and you cannot gift it. So this is the first of its kind. We've never had a pack like this that contains a rocket racing car as well as a skin in Battle Royale. So right off the bat, we're gonna determine if this is worth $9.99. Like I said, we really have nothing to compare it to because this is the first of its kind. Now, there are some drawbacks and there are some positives. The first drawback is that you don't get everything in the bundle right away. There are quests to unlock some of the things. Now, I've seen a lot of people complain about the price, but this one I disagree with. I think the price is perfect for this. It's $9.99 and let me tell you why. So if you come down to the current item shop in the racing section, we've got the werewolf bundle and the Jaeger 619. So these are arguably two of the cheaper cars in the game. They're both 1,500. So 1,500 V-Bucks is more or less about $15. So when you take that into consideration, 999 for a car as well as a skin and a Lego variant seems like a steal. Not to mention there's multiple other things you can unlock for those items. So compared to all the other cars in the game, 999, like I said, is a fair price. I was expecting this to be way more expensive. So this is amazing in my opinion. I'm still holding out hope that they make a DeLorean bundle like this. I would buy it in a heartbeat. If you don't know what that is, it's the Back to the Future car, by the way. They make the Fuse car look pretty good right here. So we're gonna have to see what it looks like in game. So the skin name is Matthias. And like I said, he does have a Lego version. So of course we'll check him out, but you get the skin, the Lego version, the starter quest pack, like I said, there are quests. Here's the default fuse car. And by the way, you can use this in Rocket League. And we've got the flames decal. That looks pretty solid. The lightning decal, okay, not as impressive. Stripes, right down the middle there. Wings, I like that one. And then form line. So pretty solid decals here. I can't wait to see this in game. This is my type of car right here. So here we go, let's purchase it because I am curious what the challenges are to unlock some of these things. So here we go, $9.99 going in. So here's the fuse, it says it's lit. There's the skin, this is your victory lap, it says. There's the Lego version and there's the quest pack. So let's go take a look, see what we have to do. Here's Matias right here, this is his default style. That's a pretty cool jacket and it looks like he's got some weird design on the back. What is that? Is that supposed to be a skull with its tongue sticking out? I honestly have no idea. And he's got silver pants, and then here's the Silver Rush style, which is currently locked. So he's got an R on the front. This time he's got a burning tire design. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't know how to unlock that just yet. So I don't actually see the quests up here. So you must have to go to Rocket Racing to even see them. Let's try. Here's Rocket Racing. Yep, I am unranked. Now let's go to Quest, maybe? Aha, yes, there they are. So what do we have to do? So up top there, below bonus goals, you can see complete three Fuse Starter Pack Quests, then six, then 10, then 13. So you get the cool car at 13. You get the secondary skin style at 10 and then two decals for six and three. So stage one says travel total distance, awards gray fuse vehicle color variant. 50,000 distance. So I don't know how long these are gonna take. And you can see it says stage one of 13. So I don't know if they're all just drive total distance because basically then you just have to play the game. So let me do one race just to see how much distance we get in a normal race. All right, I think we got this in the bag. I'm actually gonna win my first match. Yes, first place, okay. Oh, you know what, these are all bots. 
Again, my confidence was sky high, and these are literal bots. I'm going to win 2 2 3 4 Steel Goose 18. These are bots. The real question is how far did we go in one match? 22,934. Okay, so I'm definitely winning this one. Again, I'm playing against bots, but I think we went a great amount of distance this time. Let's see. I guess Silver Cup is just all bots. That's crazy. Now, this is one of the quest rewards. You can see it says Fuse Starter Pack Quest Pack, and it's a gray style. So it's for the painted style. Gray. Okay. So that is how you unlock these down here. Makes sense. So it's going to have you play quite a few matches to get all these done. You know what? I'll just do it. I'll see how long it takes me. So I finally did it. I unlocked the gold version of the car and holy smokes, did it take me forever. Probably a good five plus hours. Now I did do a video in the meantime because I figured out a little strategy to help you out, but even then it still takes ages. So this is arguably one of the most time consuming quest packs we've ever had. And that begs the question, is this really worth buying and completing? So that's what I'm here to find out finally. It took me forever to get this done, multiple days. So I got from unranked all the way to, let's see, what did I end up in? Platinum two, almost platinum three. That's how long it took me. In addition, I completed all the season quests already. And that includes over 150 plus speed runs. It took me forever. So now we can actually do a gameplay and review on the skin and all the cars. So I honestly think no back bling looks best on him, although you could try to match his color scheme. It's orange and black. You can actually use the Octane RL, but I don't know. I don't want to cover up that cool jacket, so I think I'm going to opt for no back bling. For a pickaxe, there's this orange and black all-weather extractor. If you have this, this is pretty solid. And for a glider, I think I'm just going to go with the checker glider. I know it doesn't really match his color scheme, but it's racing, and it's part of the Racer Royale set. Now for a wrap, we can try this infernal one. I'm trying to match the orange more so than anything, but we'll see how that looks in game. It's orange and black, just like his skin, but I can't tell what shade of orange that is until we see it in game. Okay, so we're going to review the skin first, and then I'll show you the car in game as well. Here's the glider we picked. So I think with this one, you really do want to try to match that black and orange for the glider. I mean, this one does fit the overall theme, but the yellow kind of throws the color combo off, I think. This might be good for a secondary style. We'll have to see. Here's the pickaxe. That's okay. I mean, it does match the back of his jacket, but as I fear, the top and near his hands is a weird off shade of almost like yellow-orange. How about the wrap? Okay, that kind of matches. That's the infernal one. Okay, as for the skin itself, I don't think anyone's buying the pack for this skin, to be honest. I think it's more so for the car. But with that said, let's see. I mean, he doesn't look that bad. He's kind of a low-key skin. Nothing's glowing, nothing's animated. You're not going to stand out like a sore thumb. How about his aim down sights? So very clean here. His hair has some strange physics, though. You see how it just oddly moves like that? It's like some of it is stationary and other little strands move. But in terms of visibility for aim down sights, this is pretty clean. Let's just make sure he doesn't glow in the dark. I doubt he will. Nope, nothing there from the front. Nothing. All right. So a pretty plain skin. Nothing to get too excited about. But again, you're probably buying the bundle for the car, not the skin. Now for the secondary style here, I'm not sure why I'm so far to the left on the screen here, but I was trying to match that silver color, but it's not really silver at all. See this pickaxe? This is silver. And his almost has a blue tint to it. And then I saw these, the Silver Strikers, and I think this might match. So let's try that. For wraps, I'm going to try a few. I've got Silver Cloud here, then Silver Dirge, and then Signature Look. I'm hoping one of these actually matches. Okay, so you can see the pants have changed to that jet black. The jacket, like I said, is kind of an off shade of silver. But then it's got that red wheel on the back. Let's take a look from the front. He's got a gray shirt underneath with a little bit of red on there. Here's the pickaxes. Yeah, so those kind of match, right? That's not too bad. Well, obviously there's no blue on the skin. I just wanted to see how that silver would look. Eh, okay. 
Here's the Silver Dirge. That's not too bad. This one's a little darker than I thought. And here's the Chrome one. I don't know. It's tough to match this color for sure. Regardless, it's not that bad of a skin, to be honest. Plus, there's two styles, so that's a little bit of a bonus. If you don't like the first one with the orange, you can do the second one with the white and black. I think I prefer the first one, though. A little easier to make a full combo. All right, so as for the Fuse car, let's take a look at everything we've got now. So I've unlocked every single Fuse painted style. So this is the ultimate one that you're grinding for. It's called Gold. Now on the fluorescent decal, which is the neon one here, I don't think it looks that good. So with the black color scheme, that looks really good. Black and gold. Purple and gold looks pretty clean. Oh, that's nice too. So you can see how it can make some pretty sick combos. I don't want to go through all these because it would take forever, but you can see just how sharp and clean it looks. I definitely like the darker colors with it. Ooh, green and gold. That's pretty nice. Ooh, yeah, blue and gold. See, they all look good. How about white? That's sharp too. Look at that. So the other styles include black and then burnt sienna. We got cobalt, crimson, forest green. That's like a neon one. Sky blue, saffron, purple. That's definitely neon. Pink. There's orange, but it's not really an orange. We got lime, gray, and titanium white. Let me see what that looks like paired with black. Wow, pretty solid. So I think this fluorescent one is probably one of the best ones in the game, but you just gotta make sure you match it with the proper color. Let's just go through all of them with this style and see which matches best. There's black, burnt sienna. You can see it changes a little bit of the window trim as well. I imagine, ooh, one of the neon colors is gonna look clean. That's pretty good. That really stands out, doesn't it? Blue's not bad either. It looks like it's got a lot of pink and yellow. Oh yeah, look at that. Boy, you would light up the whole map with that. There's purple. That's pretty clean too. Pink. Oh man. Some of these are really good. There's orange, lime, gray, and white kind of gives it a pop as well. I don't know. I kind of like the saffron. I'm going to stick with that. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite though. So I just went through all the wheels and this one by far has the most neon effect. And I think you get these for doing speed runs this season. I think that's how I unlocked all these. But these definitely have the neon glow to them. So I'm gonna go with the saffron color scheme here as well. Now for a boost, let's see if we got anything with a neon. Okay, we do have a saffron in the magic missile. Let me click that for now. There's a saffron in the star track, but that one makes a weird noise. Okay, this one's really weird. This is the saffron, but it kind of looks orangish, doesn't it? I don't know if I like that one either. Okay, that's a lot. Let's do that one. This is the Xeno Splash. I think it glitched out my sound too. Okay, I think we're set. Let's hop into a match and see how bright this looks in the dark. I can't wait. Now real quick, obviously if you're gonna run this style of car, I think the best skins to run are any of these four. We got Bunny Wolf, we got Light Show, we got Lion, and then Nightlight. Any of those would match the car perfectly. But for the sake of this review, I am gonna stick with the skin that comes with the bundle. All right, here we go. So I did change the glider to the Ghost Glider. You'll see here in a second, it's got orange and black, but I don't think it's gonna match the orange very well. We'll see. Okay, it's not too bad. I think that's better than the checkered flag we had. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I really don't think this skin looks too bad. I don't think this is one I would ever buy from the item shop, but it's a nice little bonus for purchasing this pack, primarily if you want the car. I'm sure some people out there are gonna love this skin and they'll buy the pack just for this, but I, for one, prefer the car over the skin. Again, though, with that said, it's a really clean looking skin and you do get two styles, so that's a plus. All right, moment of truth though. What does the car look like? Here we go. Look at that. Tell me that is not absolutely beautiful. Look at the wheels, the fluorescent. I can't wait to see this at night. Let me boost just a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Crazy cool. Oh, 
Holy smokes, I just melted that guy's face. That was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Still waiting for it to be nighttime though, come on! Stupid son. That guy backed out so fast as well, wow. Here comes a bunker. Oh boy, someone's coming right down here. Come on, NPC, move. Oh, you dummy. He took my car. Come down here. What was that guy doing? What? Did he think I wasn't down here? Here comes the other guy now. Yeah, let's go! I think the NPC killed him! Oh wait, maybe it was me. It was me. Alright, well that was everyone with the medallion. So the only drawback to this vehicle is that it makes a real weird noise when you drive. Someone actually left me a comment and said it sounded like a terrible weed eater. And to be honest, it does. It sounds like you're using a weed eater. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right, we're in a 1v1v1, and this guy's definitely a bot. Okay, 1v1, but we're gonna wait till nighttime. How has it not turned night yet? This is the longest day cycle ever. <gasps> what the? Oh my gosh, get off the launch pad! What is happening? I'm stuck on the launch pad. Okay, oh my. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. No! Ah! Oh my. Bruh. Come on, nighttime. Be quicker. Oh. No, don't. Don't break my car. It is a real player. Come on, it's almost nighttime. Please. No, don't shoot them. Oh, crap. Here comes the real guy. I don't want to fight you right now. Well, he's almost dead. Are we in the nighttime effect? He popped my tire! No! Okay, I think we're almost in the full nighttime effect. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Even with one pop tire. Oh no, he popped my other tire! No! Oh, he scanned. He's got a scan bot too. Oh no! Oh no! Come on, put the turbines to speed! Yes, it looks so awesome! Even though I can't drive with all the pop tires, it still looks sweet. Alright, let's see if we can finish this real quick. Sorry, buddy. Time to go night-night. Sleepy night-night. There you go. Wait, can we get into our car? Please, 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 please. Yes! Look at that! The Victory Royale screen with the car. Can I still drive? No! That's awesome, though. We won the match. How many kills did we have? Nine kills! So we could hop into replay mode real quick and turn it to nighttime just so I can show you the full effect. So there it is, right there in the full nighttime effect. Check that out. The little lights pop up too on the front. Very, very clean all around. This is what the boost we picked looks like. Not bad. What a clean looking car. The only drawback, like I said, is the sound that it makes when you drive. But if you can get by that, probably one of the best looking cars in the game. Not bad at all. So there you go. Now is this worth buying the quest pack and grinding out all the challenges. I think it is. I think this car is one of the best in the game. We've got a lot of nice cars in the game, but this by far has the most customization. And then you throw in the Battle Royale skin, it's not too bad either. It's not flashy, it's low key, two styles. Yes, it doesn't come with a back bling or a pickaxe or any accessories, but hey, it's basically a free skin with the purchase of the car. 
So there you go. I'm impressed with the pack. It's just very, very difficult to grind out. But I think they knew that because there's a disclaimer on the pack saying, hey, we're going to complete these quests for you for free in a year's time. So if you buy this and you don't get around to doing the quests in a year from now, you're eventually going to get them all completed for you. So that's a nice little bonus as well. So there you go. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with my assessment? Is this car worth the purchase? Let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.